All right, welcome back for some more easy blues harmonica. And today we're going to do a 12 bar blues with just a drum backing track and our harmonica. So we want to lay this out like where the rhythm section, the sort of thing that you know somebody could sing or take a solo over the top of. So I've been playing with a few other musicians this week. It's been sort of fun getting to be outside of the blues circle. And yeah, it's really driven home to me like how fundamental the 12 bar blues structure is. Now, we don't often stay with this structure, like sometimes, yeah, it's 12 and a half bar blues. It's always a fun sort of one. This is the thing that used to sort of like throw off all the musicians in the 60s when they were trying to play with hooker and those sort of people. So the start, though, is the standard sort of structure. And what do I mean by that? Like 12 bar blues is four bars of the one chord, two bars of the four chord, two more bars of the one chord, and then your five chord, your four chord, one chord, usually you turn around, so sometimes you might hit the five again, sometimes you might do a lot more chord changes, but basically they're your 12 bars and you go back through and repeat. And we're going to start off with like the real fundamental structure, so we're just going to do four bars of our one chord, two bars of our four chord, two bars of our one chord, and then five, the four, one, and then a five, and then we're going to start playing it all again. So, fun way to sort of count these sort of things is, um, I've done this before, is you can go, well, actually, with this backing track that I'm going to use, <clears throat> counts in for two bars. So it's one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and then we play. So when we're counting through, if you're getting lost inside your head, a good way to count these sort of things is one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, ten, two, three, four, eleven, two, three, four, twelve, two, three, four, and then repeat. Okay. So we've got ourselves a nice simple drum loop here, very basic sort of thing, so like not a lot of ornamentation. So nice, easy, fundamental sort of practice. So what am I going to do? We've got ourselves our C harmonica. We want to play in second position for some blues. So we're going to do 12 bar blues in G. So what's our one chord? That's going to be two draw. Could also use three blow. And we're the only instrument playing, so we can be a bit sloppier if we want. So you might want to add in holes one, two, and three. To get started, I want to do the root of the chord, which in this case is two draw, for the first two beats of the bar. And then I want to use a bit of our friend, the minor pentatonic scale, and we're going to do a flat third and a four, which is hole three half step bend and a hole four blow. And that's going to be our pattern for the entire song. So when we get up to the four chord, which is four blow on the harmonica, we're still going to play that for two beats. Then we're going to do our flat third, which is three draw half step bend, and then back onto the four chord, four blow. When we do our five chord, the root note of that is four draw. We're going to do four draw, but two beats, and then we're going to go flat third, so hold three half step bend, four blow. Going down to the four chord, four blow, flat third, four blow. So yeah, let's get it going and play it. So remember the count in is be for two bars, and then we're going to start on hole two, draw. So. at the start. So I'm going to stop that one there and take it back to the start. So super cool, very very basic. We can add some little ornamentations and some rhythms into that but we're going to keep with the, just that basic structure at the start. So something to listen out for with this drum backing track which I'm actually just going to pump the volume up on a little bit more 
is there's a nice cymbal crash every four bars. So it gives us a bit of an idea of where we are in our structure. So if we round all the way back to the start, grab our harmonica, we're going to do exactly the same thing again, except we're going to go through twice. Nicely done. So we're cruising along, going through there with that very simple sort of basically um, uh, quarter note pattern. So like wa ba ba wa. I'm going to keep that same pattern, but I'm just going to get like a little bit more sort of um, a bit more sloppy, a bit more sort of rhythmical. I'm going to let in a few more sort of notes on the one of the chords. So instead of just going, I'm going to go more like. some little like accents and little breaths as I'm moving back around the harmonica so I want to sort of think sloppy for the one I want to be nice and tight on the beat though I really want to hit it on the bang on the first beat of the bar and then I want to get like a nice three draw half step bend now I can do a lot of things with this because like I'm the only instrument here so usually with my three draw bend I'll probably bend it a little bit flat and go up to even almost natural so for example sort of thing so you can move around with that a lot so I'm going to play it again through twice this time I'm going to just do like a little bit more ornamentation at the start on my chord sort of sound and you'll hear what the result is so with that counting too actually at the start if, again this is stuff that like musicians don't uh, people that don't play with music don't know it starts off one three one two three four so it's just the one and the three at the start that's why the count sort of changes halfway through the first time because I wasn't counting I was just sort of going by feel and I thought oh I wonder if I got that in the right sort of spot 
I'm not sure. So I'm going to play it again. This time I'm actually going to count all the way through. Three. One, two, three. So the last one through there, I sort of did it in the style and feel that I generally sort of play this sort of thing. You don't have to get super embellished or like lots of notes, because really it's the background, like this is the bass that someone else can step in and do a solo over the top of. You can do a solo over the top of what I've been playing there if you want for a bit of practice. So yeah, get out there, have some fun.